Neymar won the Champions League while playing for the best team in the world. But that's easy. So today we're gonna find out if he could win it while playing for the worst team in the world. So we signed Prime Neymar to the worst rated team in FC24 to see how long it takes him to leave the UCL. But first we need to qualify for the Champions League. Say less, said Neymar before putting up 44 goals and 6 assists to win UCD Dublin their first ever Irish League and take them to the UCL group stages. There, we'll be put in Group D, with our main opponent being Paris Saint-Germain. Wait, hold up, what does our team even look like? Pretty bad, but we, we do have Chuck Norris and Bop. That's cute. However, I'm not sure if Neymar alone can lead this underdog squad against PSG featuring Donnarumma, Usman Dembele and My players are so slow. Defend. Help. No. Oh, seriously, the first shot. Yeah, this is gonna be tough. No, tackle him, tackle. <sighs> Bro, don't flex on us. With Neymar's teammates this bad, he had to take matters into his own hands. Oh, nice. Come on then. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, Neymar's. <laughs> this is a goal. <laughs> He's just too good. But we're still two and down. Uh, not for long. Oh, my. And they just didn't stop. I am not having a fun time. Bro, have mercy on me. How is. How are they so quick? Are you serious? While we did win the Irish League, the Champions League is a whole new ball game. And the game ended 10-1. And I tried my best too, that's the worst part. It's safe to say that our first match didn't go to plan. But there's always the next one, right? Well, despite Neymar getting a good 4 goals and 5 assists in the group stages, UCD Dublin's Champions League journey came to an end early. We didn't win a single game! Ah, Neymar, my old friend! How hilariously ambitious of you to dream of Champions League glory with... Ooh. What's that team again? Oh, right, UCD Dublin. Ha, when we were teammates, it looked like you were more interested in winning an Oscar for best dramatic fall than scoring goals. That's why I couldn't win the Champions League, because of you. So what makes you think you can win with this garbage you call a team? Mbappe's got a point. Can Prime Neymar alone transform the worst team into the best? No. So the Brazilian stole his former coach Luis Enrique from PSG. This left Mbappé fuming, enough to leave for Real Madrid at last. A decision that will haunt us if we ever make it far in the UCL. But anyway, with Enrique on board, the plan was simple. Get Neymar some help. And because our budget is very low, we went for players who nobody else wanted, like Anthony, the fidget spinner. Suarez, who had to leave the USA after biting the opponent. Out of everything you could eat there. And Thiago Silva, the veteran defender who joined for a laid back end of his career Career, not realizing the incredible journey that was waiting for us. That's right, as season 3 kicked off, Neymar Z2 finally had some players he could rely on in Europe. With a tally of 6 goals and 3 assists to his name, he wasn't dancing solo on the pitch anymore. Suarez was right there with him, and together they lit up the scoreboards. But UCD Dublin were stuck in last place for the second year in a row. However, this time, there's still some hope left on the final match day. If we beat Liverpool while the other two teams draw, we're off to the knockout rounds. Hello, Neymar. Since you cheekily snatched Luis Enrique from me, it's only fair. I get my revenge. Ready for a twist? Everyone's back in their prime. Yep, prime Stevie G. Torres, Chabi Alonso and Van Disney are all waiting for you. What? Hey, don't be so sad. Suarez and Thiago Silva are also back in their glory days. Mm, thanks. And just because I'm feeling extra nice, if by some miracle you win, you get to steal one Liverpool star. May the odds be in your favour. Not that they will be. But to my surprise, we actually started the match off great. Go on, Jack Norris. Come on. Let's go. Please don't. <gasps> Thiago Silva, the new addition to the team. Despite a strong defensive start, nothing could stop Liverpool's relentless attacks. What? Trent! That was one hell of a strike. But why against me though? Come on, you can save it for some other teams. Anthony! Where is Neymar? Where is anybody? Okay, Neymar is... Absolutely nothing was going our way. Jump. Again. Jump, you're so... You're so big, why don't you... Okay, you can jump, maybe you can sprint, maybe you can cross, oh, definitely not. However, we kept on trying. Luis, 
Louis. Louis Anthony. Oh, Neymar Zio. Wow, how did that not hit Anthony? And in the 45th minute, this happened. Suarez, run with me, Suarez. Suarez, get open. Louis Ito. <laughs> yes. Just before the first half ends. It was very hard for our team to progress the ball up the pitch. Yes, Chakia. Whoa, 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 they're on me. So when we did, it was up to Neymar to score if he wants to advance to the knockout rounds. Keep going. Keep going, Rainbow Flick. Did you see? Yeah, I mean, you, you saw it. You saw it. Hey. And this might just be the winning goal today, which it was. But in the end, Basel and Benfica didn't tie the game. Therefore, our victory wasn't enough to make it out the group. But Neymar's performance still caught the eye of his good friend, Leo Messi. I watched the match. You're tearing up the field, but it's like you're playing all by yourself out there. Remember when we used to pass the ball back and forth really fast in practice? Winning wasn't about showing off. It was about working together. You've got Suarez and the crew now. Football isn't a one-man show, Neymar. Play in a way that brings everyone together. After this talk, Neymar Neymar's team took a surprising turn. First up, the squad welcomed Prime Mascherano from Liverpool as a result of Mbappe's promise. But season 4 brought another shocker. Xavi realized that coaching clearly wasn't for him and chose to link up with Neymar on the field to with UCD Dublin. These two arrivals transformed the team so much that they reached the UCL knockout rounds with ease. Let's go. However, just as the round of 16 was about to start, Neymar got a Valentine's Day injury, which meant more time for dates and less time for hitting the back of the net. Without their star player, UCD Dublin couldn't keep up and got sent back to Ireland. And when Messi heard all of this, he couldn't hide his frustration. Neymar, when I said football isn't a one-man show, I didn't mean for you to leave your team hanging. They needed you, especially now. That same season, Mbappé celebrated his first ever UCL trophy with Real Madrid. Of course I'm very happy today but I want to win another Champions League title. And if that means defeating the Brazilian Samba dancer, then so be it. Now Neymar and Mbappé each had one UCL trophy. And if their teams ever met in Europe, it wouldn't just be a game. It would be a battle for a legacy. Knowing our current defense wasn't strong enough to face a powerhouse like Real, Neymar brought in Keylor Navas. <laughs> He was really happy to be the number one keeper again. And Hakimi, who was linked with Madrid, but preferred to make history with the Dublin underdogs. So as we entered season 5, the Brazilian was on fire in Europe, bagging 13 goals and assisting 9. This all led up to a nail-biting UCL quarterfinal second leg against Bayern München. We were down 1-0 on aggregate, but the hope of a comeback wasn't lost. Yet, Bayern was no easy task, featuring the likes of Prime Robben, Kane, Mataus, and Schweinsteiger. Bayern would have the first good chance. Robben is a dangerous man. And Harry Kane is not, I guess. Oh yeah, counter-attack. You cannot give him so much space, bro. However, our lead didn't last long. Nope, nope, nope. Hey. Come on, Mascherano. Come on, Mascherano. I was hyped for about six minutes and now this happens. Mascherano, what was that touch? Then Kelo Navas made some decent saves, but he couldn't stop this next shot from going in. This is bad. Robin running at me full speed. Oh, Mateus. Hey. No, no. no. It's 3-1 on aggregate. How are we going to come back from this? Well, maybe we won't. No, who's there? Robin, please don't. Please don't. <gasps> Navas is keeping us in the game single-handedly and great defense leads to great offense. Go! Yes! <laughs> Upa Maguire, will you catch up? Hop. No, you won't! Vamos! Grab the ball and run. Bayern are still in the lead by a goal. Someone stop the bastard! Come on, Chuck! Oh, he's, he's unstoppable! Okay, Kane is stoppable, yeah. Kane has been really bad this game. Wow, nice tiki taka. Okay, okay, um, Mahwas, you were my only hope, and now you do this. Yay! Well, uh, game over. Better luck next season, I guess. The pressure on Neymar to win his team the UCL was growing each season. Despite all the talent around him, conquering Europe was still out of reach, making Neymar more and more impatient. He wanted success 
and he wanted it now. Hey, I've watched you chase this dream, putting everything on the line. But remember, the greatest victories aren't rushed. They're built step by step. You know, back when we were at Barca together, it wasn't just our skills that made us champions. It was how we played together, understood each other, and moved as one. You're racing ahead, trying to carry it all. But true strength comes from unity. I know that words might not be enough. So, you know what? I'm just going to show you how it's done. And with that, Messi made a move that surprised the footballing world. After winning his 12th Ballon d'Or and achieving everything possible with Barcelona, he joins UCD Dublin. Together, Messi and Neymar join forces for one last dance, aiming to bring the Champions League trophy to Ireland. Destroying everyone in their way, our first real challenge came in the quarterfinals, in the form of prime man City, Haaland Aguero. KDB and yeah, 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 yeah. But get the f out of the Champions League, bro. We're winning it this year. Yeah, we knocked those losers out. Next up was Juventus in the semis, and they looked good with Prime Buffon, Nedved, Del Piero, and Cannavaro. But they were no match for us, which only means one thing we're heading to the UCL final. Ah, so we finally meet. You know, I've been doing some thinking. Yeah, I know crazy, isn't it? And I realize, Neymar, that you've pushed me to be better more than anyone else. But then I remembered, I have to win this final. Oh, by the way, I'm taking Hakimi from you. He's my best friend, not yours. You can have Messi because I also have Ronaldo. Ha <laughs> ha, game on. Ramos, Roberto Carlos, Bellingham, Mbappe. Who else? R9 Ronaldo? Cristiano Ronaldo? Modric? Hey, this is not fair. I, am, I mean, we do have Messi though. To Neymar! <laughs> I am not complaining. We are just embarrassing goalkeepers left, right and center, aren't we? Hey, let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Navas. What? Where are you standing? What are you doing? What? 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 They're so quick! Bro, Hakimi, get off my screen. I don't want to see you. You betrayed us. We were struggling. Jump, dude. Bro, no way! Yo! Nobody's performing apart from Neymar. What is going on? It was really bad. Where? Why is there so much space for them? And then Mascherano did what he does best. <laughs> We needed four goals to come back, and I could have given up. Yes, Messi, Messi, go. Go. Yes, okay, that's one. But I decided to turn it around. Who is there? Leo Messi. Two more. Momentum was finally on our side. Dude. <laughs> one more. And just like that, we equalized. Anthony. <laughs> The Su celebration in front of Ronaldo, that's nasty, Anthony, that is nasty. Even though Castillo started saving everything, I was still confident. You are about to witness the greatest comeback in Champions League history. Offside. Okay, it's over, yeah. Guys, I tried, but Pierre got me today. In conclusion, Ronaldo is better than Messi.